Please. You made it. Good. We have a great deal to talk about in a short period of time. In a clearing to the southeast, but that can wait. I trust you've seen what Hallinger and I were growing in there. Moon sugar. In its raw form. It's a crude narcotic, but if you refine it, it becomes something truly odious. Skooma. I had to be sure he could do it. Moon sugar is temperamental. No one's been able to grow it here in Vardenfell. Until Hallinger. I need you to take the notes you found to Captain Bethis in Seda Neen. Tell him everything. He'll handle the rest. It's complicated. I was a member of House Redwin's Narcotics Oath Bureau. I... I made some very serious mistakes. If I brought this tip to Captain Bethis, he would ignore me. But he has no reason to distrust you. Please, do this for me, Sarah. I'd rather not discuss it. Suffice it to say that the skooma trade offers many dark incentives. Especially for undercover officers. It's easy to cross the line. Too easy. Hopefully this arrest and seizure will help me make amends. If you'd ever taken it, you'd know. Skooma is a powerful hallucinogen. Addictive, deadly, and cheap. Lethal overdoses are routine in Morrowind. Once it's got its hooks in you, you'll do anything to get it. Steal, rape, kill, whatever. I don't know, but it doesn't matter. He's developed a method to grow vast quantities of moon sugar in Vardenfell. That's a dangerous skill. Too dangerous. Can you imagine what would happen if the Kimona Tong crime family got hold of his notes? Harlinger is no Daedric prince, but his work could be just as destructive. Please. Just do the right thing. I'd rather not discuss it. Suffice it to say that the scoop...
You are kind to check up on Hollingshear, but this one is fine. Again, thank you. What? How could she? Why would she do that? Hollingshear is no threat to anyone. Skuma? No, no, no. Hollingshear does not make skuma. My sister and cousin were both addicts. This one would never make such a thing. I only grow moon sugar, Walker. For personal use, you see. You would not ruin a life over such a thing, would you? Hey, Hollingshear has huge appetites. A little sugar in the morning to start the day, a little in the evening to soothe the soul. Moon sugar is a beautiful thing, my friend. The Riddlethar's gift to all Khajiit. Is the pursuit of pleasure really so bad? Hollingshear is glad you agree. This one just needs to gather his belongings, then he will be on his way. I think you've seen all that Said and Neen has to offer, Outlander. I suggest you go and visit another of our fine cities. Harlingier? I thought him a clueless sugar sop. If he's managed to grow moon sugar here in Vardenfell, he's more cunning than he seems. Make no mistake, we'll find him. The Tribunal thanks you for your help, Outlander. Take this as your reward. Did you need something else? A skooma baron you'd like to report, perhaps? No? Then move along. For Lura, that skooma fiend can barely put her trousers on straight, let alone conduct an investigation like this. You must be mistaken. Difficult to say. If I had my way, she'd be hanging from the nearest tree. I'll pass it on to my contacts in the Oath Bureau. I will be honest, though. Her chances are very slim.
spot. I can train and certify you with... Once you return with the ingredients, we'll determine whether you know how to combine them. I've always believed the hunt for ingredients is its own reward. Now, the moment of truth. Go to a cooking pot with your ingredients and follow the recipe. Return to me with the results, so your worth as a cook may be judged. Bring me your culinary creation so I might inspect it. I'll determine whether or not you deserve certification. Hmm, interesting scent. Do I detect a hint of Wamasu? No, that can't be right. Not how I do it, of course, but interesting enough to pass certification. You may now fulfill provisioning rates. Keep your pots warm and your ladle clean. Your command of the crafts is impressive, but not yet in totality. I am still capable of instructing you. Enchanters harness the possibility of runes, transforming them into the certainty of glyphs. I'll teach you, but I can only focus on one certification at a time. Is this agreeable? Potency, essence, and aspect. All beneath the stars bear these component concepts. When combined, they form glyphs which add enchantments to items. First you'll find these component runes. Then I will have you create a glyph. Absolutely, for such is the essence of enchanting. Runes of potency, essence, and aspect are the fundamental components of glyphs. Collect one of each variety before you return. I know of a cache outside this town. It is a rare exception for runes to be clustered so close together, so thank whatever gods you worship. Should the runes be absent, you must search further afield. There are many places one can find runes, but the ancient ruins of Tamriel are where I look first. Outside, primarily. They tend to gutter out if kept away from starlight.
Once you recover three runes, one each of potency, essence, and aspect, we shall begin the enchanting process. You likely notice their distinctive flares of light. We begin at the enchanting table. There you will combine a rune of potency, essence, and aspect. This simple puzzle forms a glyph. Now go, piece them together. Each glyph is best suited for weapons, armor, or jewelry. Simply place the glyph upon an unenchanted item of that type, and the enchantment will take hold. A word of caution, once applied, they are permanent. Indeed you can. Bring the glyph to any enchanting station. There you can extract it to recover some runes that went into its creation. To note, extracting another enchanter's glyphs can teach you far more than extracting your own runes.
attention to the arts. Finest quality merchandise. The Mages Guild has always treated me well. So I ask you, why in the world did they decide to send me to this bizarre land of bugs and mushrooms?
Jora. Deni. Jejota. to the arms. Buying, selling, trading. My prices can't be beat. Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. 
She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. Ha! There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. Jota. the Dark Elves can behave. Skype up, have a look. Don't you just love Vardenfell? You must agree that there's no...
Another adventurer looking for work? Did you? Well, that's why it was posted. It's simple. Citizens tell us what they need, and we arrange for the job to be completed. You will be able to meet with a client before starting the task. They'll also have your reward, not us. Belaru Omaril and her brother Trelan will handle your assignments. Check in with them frequently to see if they have a job for you. They'll inform. Belaru's requests may appear straightforward, but many adventurers find them difficult to accomplish. The assortment of enemies she'll ask you to face are all powerful, and I would recommend gathering allies before heading out. Trelan handles requests which the Temple has special interests in. His tasks require more subtlety, but they are by no means easy. Make sure to listen to his explanations carefully. It's also a good idea to speak to the clients beforehand. I would hope. You came to us, after all. Trelan and Bellaru are just down the hall. They should already have assignments for you. Speak to... Excellent. I know we'll all be drawn. Excellent. Right. Our new guildmaster. Ha! Ah, yes, good. Then let me be the first. Thank you. 
By the three, I've never seen the mountain so active. And Bar Dao, I swear the moonlit looks like it's about to fall from the sky. I can't wait to set sail and put dry ground behind me. We're headed to Sadrith Mora, if that's where you'd like to go. Just decide quick. I want to sail on the next tide. I was planning on sailing to Sadrith Mora next, but I don't mind taking you to an Alliance capital. Trade is always good in the capitals. I understand. The law is fungible. Pleasure doing business. All this way and for nothing. It's a disgrace. I fought by King Kamor and Eredan's side in the Civil War. Things got so bad we had to eat leather cut from our own armor. Even then, I never heard this amount of whining coming from the High Elves and the Khajiit about their embassy. The High Elves promised the Khajiit an embassy. But they dragged their feet. Now the Khajiit have their tails in a knot. I wrote a letter to the king about it. Came all the way from Haven. But now I have to leave before I can deliver it. I just heard pirates attacked Haven. I need to head back and see if they ransacked my home. If you're here to petition the king, would you bring him my letter? I wasn't boasting. I did fight by his side. My seal will let you bypass the line. We can find room, depending on your destination. Tell me. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. My benefactor awaits nearby. Do not tarry. Name's Lyris. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. 
This place is full of surprises. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. Here, my friend. The Prophet. Greetings, Vestige. Like you, I am a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from... These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded. I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. The past, the future. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. A man named Menomarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there, and we'll never get there if we don't get moving. We should keep moving. You are good in a fight. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will also be blinded for a time. Target practice? Try to be inconspicuous. You just got free. 
free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. I'll keep watch. Quickly, while he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. Escape my realm. Hermamora's wagging tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. You'll see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. One fine day in the middle of the night. Two dead kings got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their bows, and stabbed themselves. Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll, then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you, then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven. Of those who didn't go feral, that is. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. Ah, Lyris, girls as mad as sheer Gorus jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the Prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. An Imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. I hadn't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh? Cadwell seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. You better be careful.
The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. Get some more, you skeeving hawkers! should be just ahead. Quickly now, we haven't much time. All right. The good news is we made it here in one piece and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molagbal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and everything we've ever loved. Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. the divines you are safe there is that at least Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free her sacrifice must not be in vain i wish that were possible 
But I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I imagined. That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly now, we must make haste to the anchor. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tamriel, but you must lead me to it. Up the stairs, quickly! We must get to the anchor mooring! it is! The Dark Anchor Mooring. The mortal thinks it can defy me. Futile. Soon your world will be in my chain. protect you. Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. To do this, you will need a Sky Shard. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will summon one of these shards for you to absorb. Of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly, collect the sky shard. Great Akatosh, dragon god of time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molog Val be denied. Go now! The best. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean, and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold. I cannot foresee that, not yet. 
But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Bal looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. You there, wet one. Welcome to Canarty's Roost, friend. 
The hurricane must have been very disorienting. So many injured, confused. Keep your voice down. Try not to draw attention. Razumdar is here on a mission of some uh, delicacy. You are just what the Bandari ordered. Between your hands and Raz's good looks, we are certain to see this through. First, a question. Where did you come from? If you landed five paces north, you'd have squashed a rat, slipped on its guts, and cracked your head on a signal drum. The whole island would have known of your arrival. So where did you come from, truly? A Daedric prince, you say? Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? My, my, you're a focused one, aren't you? It is good to be focused, but it is also good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? Just a friendly Khajiit, privileged to see someone drop from nowhere and land in sea. Shame you cannot do that at will. You could make piles of coins, sell tickets. You should not. You should trust your instincts. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Oh, because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had few survivors trickle in from that direction. We captured a sea viper spying on the camp. Those pirates never travel alone. Find out if they're around Shattered Shoals, and if so, what they're doing on this island. Of course, you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find. We must each do our part. Before you head to Shattered Shoals, speak with Eelsil. He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Eelsil is this way. I don't care to sail through corpses, but if I dock at Nisral, they'll inspect my cargo. Which is all legitimate, I assure Where do you need to go? I can take you to Vulkelgard in Orida. There you are. Do not panic. Only you can see me. Come, we have to talk. There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. I awoke upon a sandy shore, a stretch of beach outside a bustling city of elves, Vokel Guard, the harbor.
Where are they? State your destination. I'll add you to the list. Tell me. Comrade, a word. Oh, good. You have a letter for me. I never tire of the things. You're certainly missing the meek spinelessness of a Dominion courier. You know the letter's contents, don't you? Why not tell me and spare my eyes the strain? Unhappy? Well, that's one way to put it. More livid, I'd say. The problem is Queen Irene's promise of help. From what I've seen, she's not the type to shirk commitments. Yet almost a year later, and no Khajiit embassy. Good question. You wish to serve the Camoran throne? You can start by asking Prince Naaman why his people aren't fulfilling their promises. He's the one who seems to have the entire Elden Tree lodged up his flu. I can say that. I'm the king. Yes? Quickly now. Don't leave your mouth to hang agape. That again? My sister, Queen Irene, foolishly committed to build the Khajiit an embassy months ago. Everything was to be handled through Ambassador Tarinwe at the Ultima Embassy. Ask a stonemason. I have to prepare for the ratification ceremony before Queen Irene's arrival. I can't be troubled with such minor issues. To promote harmony, she'd tell you. The same reason she picked this bizarre tree city as the Dominion's capital. She wants every member of the Dominion to feel as though they're equal. Oh, we need to be unified against our enemies, and having a high elf in charge is paramount to our success. But do we really need all this coddling? The ratification ceremony, the business with the embassy, more problems due to an archaic wood elf ritual. If she dances to their tune, Queen Irene will be recognized by the heavens as a worthy candidate for Emperor of Tamriel. Rubbish. You're not one for waiting in lines, are you?
Over here, Initiate. Not sure what we're allowed to eat anymore. The Dominion's got all these rules. May Auriel grant us the wisdom to reconsider our individual desires and concur on a halfway state that best fits all Dominion peoples here in Elden Root. This is not a time for strength or certainty, but a measure of social kinship. Come out! Come out and talk to us. I suppose a wanderer like you wouldn't know what busy looks like. I will demonstrate. Feel free to observe, quietly and from a distance. Oh, forgive my manners. There's so much to do in preparing for Queen Irene's ratification ceremony. Tempers fray, as I'm sure you can understand. But if Prince Naaman sent you, it must be important. What can I do for you? Why would Prince Naaman care about that? If they are too lazy to build their own embassy, can't they afford an inn? Well, I... Of course, I ordered it done. I hired some wood elves to excavate the stone and set aside supplies for Khajiit to use. It isn't my fault if the locals couldn't do their jobs. Check our storeroom. The Khajiit didn't even bother to pick up the supplies. In the meantime, I'm off to locate Prince Naaman. If he didn't send you here with his blessing, I'll see you face Dominion justice. We'll see what Prince Naaman thinks of your impertinent questions.
That's far enough. The storeroom is off limits. And she did. That's different then. Show me her orders and I'll stand aside. Then I can't let you inside. Her instructions were very specific. No one gets in without her written permission. I'm to remain at my post until relieved. Except in an emergency, of course. The Khajiits could riot. That would be bad. Very bad. Or a fire, of course. But the chances of that happening are slim. I'm here on the ambassador's orders. I can't leave my post about that much. Is the guard and what are you doing here i'd expected you would solve problems at the embassy not cause them do you realize what's happening out here oh, never mind explain what you were doing in that why would she do that oh never mind well typical bureaucratic corruption i expected better of the ambassador no matter supplies can be replaced what about the Khajiit Embassy? Did she say why construction hasn't begun? What do you mean, collect stone? That should have happened months ago. They should be ready to build it. I'll talk to the ambassador myself. Put the fear of the Dominion into her. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't pass each other on the road. Get to those ruins and find that work crew. I want to know why they haven't done their jobs. I won't have Queen Irene's word impugned by someone else's incompetence. to talk.
So are you standing over the body of a dead wood elf? Nearly put an arrow in your throat. Good thing I recognize you. Azerith, Bind Dusk Ranger. We work directly for King Kamor and Eridon. Saw you earlier in the throne room. The King had his suspicions about the missing work crew, and asked me to look into it. Seems we both have a stake in this. I know enough. Khajira owed an embassy. They're angry the High Elves are dragging their feet to build it. Seemed like politics until a dozen stonemasons vanished without a trace. The King sent me to find out why. Before the Dominion, King Kamor and Eridan nearly lost a civil war. I came to see if the missing stonemasons were targeted by the Black Sap Rebellion. But Black Sap would have displayed the bodies, not left them as food for Horvor. The King suspects Ambassador Tarinwe has been up to no good. Little things, some of her associations. But he can't accuse his allies of undermining the whole alliance. So he sent me to deal with it. Ambassador Tarinwe used criminals to smuggle supplies. Never directly, but enough for us to notice. I'm not saying she had these stonemasons killed, but I'd like to ask her myself. Problem is, there's nothing we can do while she's in the Altmer Embassy. If she left the Embassy, she knows someone's onto her. She'll go to ground, try to flee. Have someone smuggle her out of Grotwood. We should probably stop her. Meet me by the Middens at the base of the Elden Tree. I'll be there shortly. Huh? Huh? 
Pakruti welcomes you. So much of his business is carried out to couriers, it is nice to find... Wabakat, a bonus reward. Time for a repeat performance? Oh. May luck follow you.